What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And in this week's lesson, we're gonna check out some of my favorite tool, Justin Chancellor bass riffs. And these riffs are in no particular order because they're all fantastic and a lot of fun to play, okay? Down in the description below, you can find the links to the tabs. We are in a drop D tuning for all of these riffs. And let's jump in, okay? We're gonna start with probably the most recognizable, albeit cliche, bass lines Tool has to offer. It's one of their best tracks, and that's 46 and 2. So I love that riff, 46 and 2, like I said, it's probably one of the most recognizable. And again, it's been a single for decades, so it might be a little cliche at this point, but you know, they still play it live to this day, and it's just a fantastic song and a great bass line. All right, and I wanted to show you guys the verse because it gives a little variation of it, how he puts the that F underneath it really cool bass line and again I'm not quite sure if that's how Chancellor plays it I've seen it played different ways by a variety of different people but I've actually never seen a video of him playing it live so if you have that insight let me know down in the comments below moving on to the next riff let's let's mellow it down and this triad of songs is just phenomenal on lateralis and anytime Tool gets really soft and intimate with their music, you know you're in for a ride, all right? And this is a great use of harmonics, and this bass line is the intro from Disposition. Again, the, the riff is super elegant and it's a great use of harmonics. We're hitting a couple on nine of the D, seven of the G, and five of the G. And then on the repeat, it's seven, five. So moving on to the next riff, it's probably one of the most badass riffs, almost, in this list that I have. And that is the verse riff from Anima. All right, it's the, the three of the, the triplet feel over the four quarter note. We have some power chords down here, slurring to the open, and then we go to the low string. Let's check it out. Again, badass bass line. Such a good bass line, super aggressive. I love these power chord shapes down here with the slurs. Right, and that kind of carries over to the bass line when you go down to the single string. You have this nice triplet feel where it's fret, open, fret, open, fret, open. Just really nice, aggressive bass line. Big fan. Moving on to probably the most badass bass line. In this in this whole list and that's the breakdown or one of the sections from Rosetta Stoned right we're like six seven minutes into the song which is one of their best tracks and all of a sudden they break down Jones gets into this really long drawn-out solo but underneath that Chancellor lays down this just mean bass riff and that sounds like this
I, I absolutely love that riff. I love that song coming out of that into that. Out of the solo, it just climax, the vocals come in, the melody line. It's just, that song is just absolutely phenomenal. Definitely check it out. Put it on your t to listen list. All right, last riff of the day. Let's do something new. One of the most recognizable, if not one of the best tracks on the new album, and that is Numa. Absolutely tremendous bass line. Great use of the, the echo, filling in the gaps, right? And it's mainly just power chords rocking around the low string, but again, really creative use of the delay and lots of cool stuff going on in this song. There you guys go. Some of my favorite tool, Justin Chancellor, bass lines. This is, again, they're not in any order. These are not the only top five. These are not the only five that we can talk about. If you have some of the bass lines that are your favorites that I haven't mentioned or didn't play, please let me know what they are down in the comments below. All right, down in the description, you can find the links for the tabs for all these. And as always, let me know what you come up with. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.